Isn't it amazing that the Bible is God's living word? I can read it one time and a certain verse stands out. I read it the next day, same chapter, same area, and another verse stands out. I love that. I can read this book every day of my life and I will still be learning the new things from God. I like to pray before I read it so that no matter what book, chapter, or verse I am studying, I will get out of it what God wants me to get out of it for that day. So many times we worry about this generation or that generation. I'm guessing that my grandparents thought the same thing when we were younger. I do know this world is not as God wants it to be, but He is with us right where we are. Psalms 24, 6 says, Such is the generation of those who seek Him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. I am thankful for the young parents that I see raising their children to be followers of Christ. I have one grandson that when he needs prayer will say to his mom, Mom, I need you to put faith in me. He asked her to do this before presentation for school that day, so she prayed for him. Between prayer and preparation, he survived his presentation. He told us after it was over that it was awesome. We have a granddaughter that will sing Amen at the end of almost any song because she knows they sing it at the end of the doxology. Her favorite song to end it with is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And still another grandson will point to each of us individually to tell us to pray before our meal. Then he will put his little hands together and bow his head waiting for the prayer to end. Our church has a wonderful growing youth program. I love to watch our young teachers, most of them parents themselves, get involved with and live life with these children. I, as one of the older adults, get to watch a generation below me teach an even younger generation about the gospel. God is always using one generation to teach the next. I think back to all the wonderful Sunday school teachers I had when I was a child. Each of them were teaching us so that we could grow up and be a generation for Christ. My grandmother lost her eyesight, but she loved to have the Bible read to her. As a teenager, this took a lot of time. But as an adult, I now see the value in that. I love the memory of reading to her. She would have me read out, uh, read out loud several different versions. If I came to a word I couldn't pronounce, she would stop me. Or if I couldn't understand it, she would stop me, have me go get the concordance, we'd figure it out, and this would help her dig deeper into scripture even though she was just sitting there listening. It taught me to do those things too. I am so thankful for the things I learned from her, not only through reading the Bible, but also from watching her live her life through Christ. And she depended on Christ every day, even uh, the last several years of her life when she couldn't see, couldn't do what she'd planned to do in her retirement, but she never, ever gave up on Christ. And I always saw joy in her, no matter what. I want to be like Grandma. I want to be someone in my generation teaching the generations after me about Jesus. Our jobs as disciples are to tell others the good news. Jesus loves you. No matter what generation you are in, are you doing what God has called you to do so that future children will know Him? I pray that you are.